And Joel, I'm, I'm sure that for any parent watching this film, it would be impossible not to feel for the parents who are really in agony to learn that their sons are trapped in this cave and, and might not survive. What about the parents' stories did you learn in creating the film? And, and did they see this experience as a test of character? Look, I, w- I was on my way barreling towards fatherhood as we were shooting the film. In fact, I became a father of twins uh, a week or two before I even wrapped shooting my Congratulations. Session. Thank you. <laughs> and as that was happening, I was thinking more and more about parenthood, the idea of your children being trapped and not knowing and, and having that, that terrible question mark. Um, I think was one of the reasons why the entire world was gripped by this. It's like as humans, we empathize about other human beings, interestingly and understandably, despite culture, religion, race, any of that stuff. When human beings go missing, we place ourselves in that position we watch because we care, and particularly when they're children. The idea of having to empathize with um, what the parents felt, I think, is an is an easy situation for anybody. Um, in the film, the, you know, the, there's so many moving parts in this film, and in the film, the, the the point of view of the parents is is really distilled into one particularly significant character, who personally, as a as a watcher of the film, is one of my favourite characters, and I think it speaks volumes to that empathetic aspect of, of why we're all drawn into this story is a lot of it came down to how would it be not just to be one of the children and the fear of not knowing, but to be one of the parents being helpless on the outside, not knowing what, what is possible and, and what the outcome was going to be.